Hi everyone, welcome to the Nacklers Workshop. Um, today we're going to talk about the um, IME 300 lathe, but just just to put it uh, put it into a bit of perspective, the size of it. Um, this is my original um, IME lathe, and if we measure the bed, we've got a uh, 10 inches there. So it's quite a small one, and um, <coughs> as we know primarily for watchmaking purposes um, and I've got another a larger one here that I've picked up recently and this one has a the longer 15 inch uh, bed and I believe uh, there's there's a one that sort of sits in between these two um, which I haven't managed to find uh, yet this one we've got um, of uh, the Instagram as we know this but um, I've managed to pick up some material to make a new foot because we've only got one on here so that's what uh, we're gonna be uh, doing early in the new year so this is uh, I don't sort of show too much of this but this is generally how I amuse myself during the week in between sort of making uh, videos on Unimats mostly but anyway so this is um, the two different types of watchmakers uh, lays. Well, about, um, I've been searching, let me just move the camera around, and what we've got here, this is an IME 300. Um, now this is, obviously, uh, if we measure the length of the bed, that's 24 inches, so considerably larger than um, the, uh, the smaller ones. If we put, uh, that one next to it we can you know we've got quite a good comparison here in a, a different different realm now i've never seen one of these up until this one i've never seen one of these uh, for sale uh, anywhere and i've been looking at this for about six months and but it was to 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 get it he he wouldn't courier it, it would only be collection only and it meant I needed to do about a 400 mile, no, 450 mile round trip. Um, and in the end I cracked and decided to go and get it. So um, now, as crazy as it may seem, I don't have anything other than what you see here. I don't have the um, headstock tail stock or anything. But, um, so really this is the, sort of the purpose of making the video I'm keen to sort of have a video out there that, that talks about the IME uh, 300 and if anyone can has got one or or just got some more information I mean I've I've got the book and all the information on laves.co.uk from Tony there and um, we can see hopefully Tony won't mind me just showing you this picture uh, oh, that's the wrong one so this is this is the 300 sort of built up so um, so that's what I'm aiming to build this into at some time uh, but it's just really around it's very difficult to recreate things when you don't have any measurements and such like so I'm hoping that uh, over the period of time so by putting this uh, video out now um, at some time in the future someone might pop up who's either got one for sale which I could be interested in if the price is right or has one and would allow me to come and take some measurements of it um, it is uh, this one's I've been I don't generally talk about this but when I get any machinery into the workshop that is for a future project the first thing I do is try and stabilize it to uh, some extent so if it's a bit rusty or whatever I try and just clean it all up and then you know like this I'll, I'll just wrap it wrap in cling film I've got it a bit cleaner still more work to do um, you can see the big old uh, IME um, embossed in there um, and because you know it, it's not in too bad a condition it's interesting because in the the details from uh that tony over at lanes that 
how that UK supplies. Um, it's, it says these were sold to the military. Um, now this on this badge here, it's got M3352. Uh, now I'm not sure whether that's a military number or something that's indicating it's the uh, the 52nd one of the 300 series. So I'm not sure on that. Um, and if I look round on the tail stock, or the, sorry, the headstock, we've got a serial number here, which um, it's got a 59 on. So I'm not sure whether this was actually made in 1959, which uh, when we'll, if, if that is the case, one would sort of suggest it's in not too bad condition. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to try and get something out there in the hope that someone can give me some uh, help on this one uh, moving forward. Um, I'm probably going to spend another day on, on just trying to sort of stabilise it a bit, see if I can get a little bit more of the surface uh, cleaned up and then we'll just wrap it up, cover it in a cling film or something, oil it up um, and then we, I might make a little box so we just park it somewhere and then sometime in the future when I've got more information maybe find some other component parts for it we'll dig it out but um, yeah it's just uh, really a request for help by anyone I think this will turn into um, probably quite a nice uh, uh, sort of bigger lathe you know it's um, sort of coming into the size can of the um, you know the the Chinese mini lathes really so um, I think uh, it'll be quite good and now I've got a, a 3d printer I, I have got a bit of an idea to try and print up some sort of dummy headstock and tail stock and just have a just generally mess around just trying to sort of see whether we can come up with a good design if I can't find any of the uh, the other parts um, all the genuine parts to be able to try and copy. So that's the IME 300. Um, if you do have any information, you can email me. The uh, my email address is in the about page, the about tab of the uh, YouTube stuff. Um, sorry, drop the camera. This little, this one, as I say, we've got somewhere here, uh, over here. We've got a giant lump of metal. Uh, so we're going to make we're going to make some feet. I've actually got a second one of these as well. That's back at home. So we're going to make three feet for this, uh, and we need to make some other bits and bobs for the tail stock. So we will do that next year, and I probably will film some of this. Yeah. So anyway, it's a pretty short one. Um, because we're it's pretty cold in the workshop again you can hear it's raining now um and we're sort of coming towards christmas so we're starting to close down everything here so as always uh, many thanks for watching uh, stay happy strong and healthy and i'll see you in the next one cheerio